My parents both remarried, and at the time they remarried, I acquired five stepsisters and a stepbrother in one year, and I was not a popular person with any of them. So high school was sort of a strange time because of the remarriage and all of the, the siblings. I got put into a Catholic boarding school convent, and I was the only girl on campus who was allowed to leave campus because I was allowed to go to ballet class three days a week to Madame Cadrina. So, but I graduated high school at age 15, thinking that I would go to Juilliard that fall, and I got terribly sick with mono and hepatitis and rheumatic fever and spent six months of the, that year instead of going to Juilliard in bed. But I got rather bored in bed, so one of the things, two of the things I did was, one, I taught myself to play castanets, because I could do that in bed. It drove my mother up the wall. And I also listened to music and wrote a libretto for a ballet that I produced as one of the first ballets that we ever did for when I had the school. I did all the costume designs, linked the music together, and I, I made a ballet. Well, that's what you do when you're bored. And <laughs> coming back after being sick the following year in 1958, I did audition for Juilliard and got in, uh, probably by the skin of my teeth. Uh, the man conducting the um, audition was Alfredo Corvino, and the first thing he asked us to do, he said, would you please do port de bras number six facing corner number two? And I knew he had spoken English, but I hadn't a clue what I was supposed to do because I had not been Chiquetti trained, I'd been Russian trained. and. So I, luckily there were other people and I followed behind. And then I came out to do my solo on point and promptly broke the shank of my shoe with the first step. So somehow I got in. I think in the late 50s they were not very picky. But I was in a wonderful class of people at Juilliard. Kazuko Hirabayashi was one of my good friends. Jennifer Scanlon, who went on to dance with the Jose Limon Company, was part of that. Dudley Williams was part of my class with the Graham Company. And Harriet Ross, who was then Harriet Goldberg, was in class with me. My favorite teacher there um, was Anthony Tudor. And I took uh, dance composition choreography with him, and I took pas de deux with him, which I really loved. And I was friends of a friend of his, so I sat in the cafeteria often with him for lunch, um, not realizing exactly how privileged I was, but delighting in his wit. And he was, he was a, quite a delight. My other teachers in Graham there, because I was asked when I went to Juilliard that first day as a ballet person, I was sa they said, you have to study modern. I said, I don't want to study modern. I came to be ballet dancer. And they said, you have to study modern. Who do you want to study with, Jose Limon or Martha Graham? And I didn't really know who Jose was at all at the time. I picked Martha Graham because my parents had taken me to see a movie of her doing Lamentation in the 40s when I was a child. And at least she was a woman. And I thought, well, I'll study with her. I at least know who she was, even if she looked kind of funny in that long jersey thing doing Lamentation. I, thought, well, I, I will go study with her. And she was a character. She did not teach daily. She came, would visit class. But I did study there with Bert Ross, Stuart Hodes, Ethel Winter, Mary Hinkson, and Helen McGee. And uh, I, I had very good foundation in Graham there and, and in the ballet there. <laughs>